I'm Dr. Christopher Hess, a third year fellow in movement disorders and clinical motor physiology at Columbia University, and my fellowship is funded by the Parkinson's Disease Foundation. I became interested in Parkinson's disease uh, as an undergraduate. After serving for four years in the Marine Corps Infantry, I uh, decided to study neuroscience and behavior, and very early on in my studies became interested in the basal ganglia, which is an area of the brain involved in the motor symptoms of Parkinson's disease. I spent time at a movement disorders research center and was able to see the relationships that develop between patients and the physicians there and was struck both by the courage exhibited by patients in dealing with the everyday struggles of their disease with dysfunction of an area of the brain that I found so interesting and also by their courage in volunteering for clinical trials to develop new treatment options for Parkinson's disease. And I decided at that time to pursue a career in clinical research in the area of movement disorders. For the past two and a half years as a PDF fellow here at Columbia, I have obtained outstanding training, uh, clinical training in uh, movement disorders by Dr. Stanley Fon, as well as training in uh, clinical motor physiology by Dr. Seth Pullman. And I've been able to participate in research that wouldn't have been possible without the support of the Parkinson's Disease Foundation. In the spring, after my training's complete, I'll be joining the Movement Disorders Research Group of Michael Oaken at the University of Florida and serving as the Chief of Movement Disorders at the Veterans Hospital there. I look forward to being able to treat veterans with Parkinson's disease and providing expert care that they might not otherwise get, as well as continuing uh, my research career both with the University of Florida group and within the VA. Thank you for your support of the Parkinson's Disease Foundation. Donors like you make it possible for clinicians to develop the clinical and the research training necessary to succeed as a clinician investigator. We're doing everything that we can to conquer this disease, but we can't do it without your help. Thank you.